In this video, we're going to talk about tsunami signs. The learning competency for this video is to recognize the natural signs of an impending tsunami. And the specific learning outcome is to explain the three important natural signs of an impending tsunami. This is a map of the Philippines showing locations of most destructive tsunami events recorded in Philippine history. So you can download this from PVOX website. No ma'am. No ma'am. So we had around 90 destructive earthquakes, around 40 tsunamis for the past 400 years. Oh, what? what? Wait! And our coastal areas at eastern and western margins, fronting major seas and inland seas have been affected by tsunamis. So what is a tsunami? Again, a tsunami is a series of giant sea waves resulting from the disturbance of ocean floor by an earthquake. So don't confuse it with a storm surge, okay? A tsunami is a Japanese word meaning harbor waves. So su means harbor, nami means waves. So a tsunami is commonly generated by disturbances associated with earthquakes occurring below or near the ocean floor. So it occurs when the earthquake is shallow seated and strong enough to displace parts of the seabed and disturb the mass of water over it. In addition, underwater volcanic eruptions and landslides can also generate a tsunami. So sometimes, tsunamis are erroneously called tidal waves. So it's not, okay? Remember that tsunamis are generated by earthquakes and tsunami waves are generated because of movement of fault under the sea. So tsunamis have nothing to do with high tide and low tide which is caused by the gravitational pull between the earth and moon, okay? The increase in wave heights associated or during typhoons or tropical cyclones are called storm surges. So remember, storm surges are not tsunamis, okay? Now, there are two types of tsunamis. We have the local tsunami and the far field or distant tsunami. So based on the word itself, you should already know what they mean. The coastal areas in the Philippines, especially those facing the Pacific Ocean, South China Sea, Sulu Sea, and Celebes Sea, can be affected by tsunamis that may be generated by local earthquake. Local tsunamis are confined to coast within 100 kilometers of the source, which are usually earthquakes and a landslide or a pyroclastic blow. So it can reach the shoreline within 2 to 5 minutes. Now, distant tsunamis can travel from 1 to 24 hours before reaching the coast of the nearby countries. These tsunamis mainly coming from the countries bordering Pacific Ocean like Chile, Alaska in United States, and Japan. Okay. Now, what are the responsible agencies aside from PVOX, which is our local agency? We have the PTWC or the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center and the Northwest Pacific Tsunami Advisory Center. So they are the responsible agencies that closely monitor Pacific-wide tsunami events and send tsunami warning to the countries around the Pacific Ocean. Now let's talk about the warnings of a tsunami. Now I'll be showing you different texts which you have to read and then answer some questions. Okay? Well what you want to do is not necessarily what you're gonna do. So let's start with the warnings of a tsunami underway from where the first wave arrives in minutes. Now pause this video and read the text. The question is, what are the signs mentioned in the text? Right, so it's strong shaking and earthquake. Okay, so the next reading is the sea may withdraw shortly before it attacks, which came from the same article where the first waves arrive in minutes. Pause this video and read the text. 
So according to the story, as soon as the strong shaking of earthquake stopped, what did the man observe? Correct. So the second sign is that the sea will withdraw. There is a rapid lowering of sea level or noticeable rise and fall of coastal water. The next reading is the sea may boom from the same article where the first waves arrive in minutes. Now pause this video and read the text. According to the reading material, what is the third observation that confirms incoming tsunami waves? So based on eyewitnesses, there is a distinct rumbling sound made by incoming waves described as distinct roaring sound. Next, strange unusual strong sound. Lastly, we have the rumbling of many trucks or jet-like or gush of strong rain. So this is the third natural sign. In summary, to mitigate the effect of the tsunami, the community should be aware of the natural signs that they might observe. The three natural signs of an approaching tsunami are a strong felt earthquake. Okay, so if the ground shakes under your feet in a coastal region, it may result to a tsunami. However, you may not feel an earthquake if the event is far away. Please remember that. Next, unusual sea level change. So, sudden seawater retreat. So, before a tsunami arrives, water may recede from the shoreline before returning a fast-moving wall of water. So, if you notice the water is disappearing, tell your family and friends and prepare to evacuate. Lastly, unusual rumbling sound. So, if you hear a loud roaring approaching, tell your family and friends because it could be a tsunami approaching. At yun ay tuljok.